Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. And I'm Kristen Oaks White. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only television show connecting farmers and consumers together every week. We just had the Thanksgiving holiday and one thing on many plates around Louisiana homes, oyster dressing. It's just one of the many ways to enjoy oysters. However you like them, eating oysters is now a way to help save Louisiana's coastline. As well as Neil Malasson tells us, a program to recycle oyster shells is creating artificial reefs to protect our shores and, just as important, make more oysters. Now won't you come along with me Down the Mississippi if you know New Orleans restaurants, you can't walk past the sign and not think about charbroiled oysters. Drago's is just one of the many restaurants serving oysters in a variety of ways in the city. Two years ago, the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana, or CRCL, started working with these restaurants to help ensure they have a steady supply of these foodie favorites now and in the future. An oyster shell recycling program is taking the discarded shells from here to here, an artificial reef built with these shells. This is the first of many planned reefs made from the more than 5 million tons of oyster shells collected since 2014. Here in 2016, this half mile barrier is the result of a lot of happy times in the Crescent City. So literally thousands of people contributed to this reef. This is the shell that went from New Orleans restaurants and otherwise would have gone to landfills now it's protecting our coast. Now, of course, the oyster beds are why we're out here today, but really it's this that they're designed to protect. This marshland that's so sensitive to changes in sea rise and salinity and that sort of thing. So going forward in the future, it's not just oysters they're protecting, it's the entire coast. The reefs may seem like they're just blocks of shells, but they're actually designed to accomplish a number of purposes at once. This area is experiencing a lot of coastal land loss. And so the design of these baskets is such that we will slow the wave energy and also be providing habitat for fish, um, habitat for other wildlife, crabs and birds. Now the reefs are certainly good for the wildlife around here that depend on these marshes. They're also good for the economic health of restaurants that depend on abundant oyster supplies. Even more so, they're vital for oyster fishermen who have seen oyster reefs decline worldwide by about 85 percent, that according to the Nature Conservancy. Their coastal program director says it's not just for those things, but a priceless aspect of Louisiana culture dating back centuries. As a habitat, again, they protect shoreline, they provide all these ecosystem services, and as a fishery, obviously, um, it's a source of income. It also confers a sense of place to, you know, Louisiana and other places around the Gulf that harvest oysters and have traditionally for, you know, 100 years. This half-mile reef we saw is one of several planned reefs by the CRCL with the tons of oyster shells they've collected over the last two years. Still, this is a drop in the bucket of all the little coastline that needs to be protected because of the many inlets and waterways along Louisiana's coast. That's why it's so important to support this recycling program to keep those shells coming. So, eat up. For more information on the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana and their efforts to help save Louisiana fisheries, you can log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And guys, of course, in addition to the fact that these are saving Louisiana marshes, they're also saving oyster fisheries. Even though the reefs themselves won't be open for commercial fishing, the spat, the baby oysters that are love those oyster shells in these reefs. And they, they love to perch on them specifically, and then they'll generate more, which will spread out through these marshes in areas where our oyster fishermen can go. What I thought was really neat was you could actually see behind these reefs already where there's less erosion, where it's making an impact. And those things are pretty tough. You stood on them. They are, they are very solid. <laughs> Each one of those things I think is something like 20 tons or something <laughs> like that. And the real thing is when you're standing on it, the wave action is different on one side than the other. It <laughs> really does. The, the water on the marsh side is very calm. Fascinating story. Neil Malonson.